Hey friends on Facebook, welcome in. Just sorting the stream on Instagram and then we get going. How is everybody this evening? Alrighty, so there we go. No, two sex guys. If you're joining in on Facebook, let me know how things are going this evening. What you've been up to today? I've been on the beach with my boys. It's been a really, really gorgeous day. Okay, I think we're good. All right. So we are on day four of the buy one, get one freeze. Who's got some so far? Who's been enjoying the education that I've been providing in this group? And also on the other platforms. Welcome into Instagram. I'm going to dive right in, right in this evening. I'm a, a little bit later than I planned just because I've been at the beach with my kids having a lovely day and and then I was just about to join and I noticed that my one of my kittens has got one of its eyes closed. I'm not quite sure what's going on. I'm going to have to look into that more in a minute. So um, if anybody knows uh, what that might be in a cat, I'm guessing it's probably got something in it. I'm not sure exactly. Um, but yeah, I will be looking into that shortly. So I wanted to talk about ginger oil this evening and also cardamom. So two oils that are, they're probably not necessarily people's first go-to kind of staples, but they're also not super unusual either. So um, this is what doTERRA's ginger looks like. It comes in a, a 15 ml bottle. So there's 250 drops in, in there. And the cardamom comes in a smaller bottle, it's a five mil bottle, and it has 85 drops in it. And they're both, they're a nice pairing, aren't they? Because they can be used together, actually. They're both spice oils. They're both culinary oils, if you choose to use them that way. But also they have, like all essential oils, um, you know, they pair, certain pairings can have similarities but they can also, or they do also have distinct, um, distinct uses as well. So if we start with ginger then for a minute, um, I will share some of the things that I do with ginger and then a few of the other uses just to kind of give you a broader um, sense of what it can be used for. So I guess some of the main things that I would do with ginger is I would use it for digestive support. So for me, I will put it in um, like a veggie cap, a clear veggie fiber kind of capsule. Hi Alex, nice to have you on. I'll put a couple of drops of ginger in if I'm needing digestive support or I'm feeling a bit nauseous, that kind of thing. And I'll swallow it or I'll put a drop in water. It's really, really lovely that way. Um, equally, I could dilute it and put a drop on my, on my stomach. And that's what I would do if I was using it with my children or I would just let them smell it from, I'd rub a drop on my, my hands. Um, and, and have them smell it and inhale it a few times. So what else do I do with ginger? It's a great one for muscle support. So if you've got any kind of tissue, um, tissue issues, shall we say, um, it's a warming oil. So it's gonna help with circulation and it's just nice, you would dilute it because it's considered a, a fairly hot oil and you would rub it on the affected areas. Okay, who uses ginger that's watching at the moment and what do you like to do with it? The, 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 the thing that I use ginger um, on or with most often actually is in the kitchen. So um, when I'm making chocolate, raw chocolate, or if I'm having my chocolate granola and I fancy a change, I'll put some in there. It goes really good in things like hot chocolate as well. Uh, so they're, they're the three things that I would most often do with this. I've made a body scrub with ginger, clove and orange. Um, yeah, normally in the winter months, but um, you could also do it in the summer. I've got a lovely recipe on my Facebook group, if you're watching there, for ginger uh, lemonade, which is from memory, water, ice, something sweet like agave syrup, if it's a good quality one, or maple or honey, um, and then a couple of drops of ginger, and you can also drop, uh, add a drop of uh, lemon in as well. That can be really nice. So other properties in the book, um, constipation and immune support, uh, congestion and respiratory support, and environmental threats so it's a protective oil and we can definitely use it in that way i would be diluting um if it's children i'd be diluting it popping it on their feet if it's for myself i would just use it neat 
Um, some of you will already know that because of doTERRA's purity, we do have the option to use oils neat if we so choose. Ginger is considered a hot oil, but the soles of the feet, I feel, um, is quite a tough area. And I know that after trying ginger, you know, skin testing it with a bit of carrier oil diluted, and over time, I, I kind of feel that I'm good to use this on the soles of my feet. There is an... Um, and a, an alternative sugar scrub where you can, this would be nice actually for this time of year, you can mix equal amounts of ginger and lemongrass. And if you've got it, um, put twice as much of um, lime. So here for one cup of sugar, you would use half a cup of any oil that you have, such as olive oil or almond oil. And then you would mix in 10 drops lime, 10 drops ginger, and also 10 drops of lemongrass. So that's a really nice energizing sugar scrub with ginger, lemongrass and lime. So I think that sounds really lovely. Hi Jules, nice to have you on. So other properties, uh, we've talked about it supporting the digestive system, supporting um, immune system. It's also great if we need, if we're feeling a bit sick and it just kind of helps us um, deal with that. Other things we haven't talked about, hot flashes, endometriosis, um, impotence, lactation, Parkinson's, premenopause, fragile hair, cholesterol, um, and aneurysms. They're all listed. It, the emotional aspects of ginger, does anybody know what it's the oil of? Um, I'll leave you a second just to, just to um, have a think if you know. Da, da, da. It's the oil of empowerment. Okay, so if this is a, an area that you want to work on, perhaps you feel like you have a sense of victim men mentality in the, in the way that you kind of show up and live your life, or you feel powerless. Um, maybe, you know, maybe when you have a, a, a sense of being unwilling to take responsibility in something, or feeling like just defeated and like down all the time, like life is kind of kicking you down, um, not present or stuck, then this is something that, you know, we can work, when, when we're blaming others, we're not taking, our, we're not um, sitting in our own power um, and ginger can help us um, reconnect to that feeling of empowerment. So the book, The Essentials and Emotions book, um, I like this, it says ginger holds no reservations. This oil has a purpose and will fulfill it and ginger will fulfill it. Ginger powerfully persuades individuals to be fully present and participate in life. It teaches that to be successful in life, one must be wholly committed to it. So you've got to show up um, and do the work, really, isn't it? It's that kind of uh, message. Ginger addresses deep patterns of victim mentality, which is evidenced by feelings of powerless, like we were just talking um, about powerlessness. Believing everything is outside one's control, refusing to take responsibility for life, or blaming life circumstances on other people or outside influences. I suppose we can all um, relate to this in part, but if this feels like it's the narrative of your life, then, you know, reconnecting with a sense of empowerment, possibly using ginger to help with that is something that you might want to consider. It says that victims feel stuck as they decentralize or disown responsibility and blame others for their misfortunes. So yeah, that's a little bit of the emotional side of ginger. Now we're gonna talk about cardamom. So um, as, as you may know, there's a, a buy one, get one free event on at the moment. And until tomorrow night, until Friday at six o'clock, you can buy the ginger and you can get the cardamom free. So ginger is £40.75. That's the custom wholesale price, 43 and a half PB. And cardamom that you get free is actually £21.50 normally. So ginger is the 15 ml bottle. Now let's talk a little bit about cardamom and what cardamom can do for us. So Oh, such a good one, cardamom. It also goes really well with chocolate. So I shared at the beginning that I use uh, ginger in baking, in um, different creations in the kitchen, also Asian cooking, you know, anywhere where you would use these things. I make, um, I've got my cooking oils here actually to show you. Check out these gorgeous little guys here. So these are what I use when um, I'm in the kitchen and I don't want, I want the flavor, but perhaps I don't want full, you know, whole drops of oil. Maybe I'm just making something for myself. Or maybe I was making a chai kind of version of a drink 
um, of the tea last weekend and I wanted to use about six different oils and I when I use these little bottles so I've, I've put some of my ginger oil in here and I'm tapping them out I'm only actually getting about I'll show you over here on uh, Facebook I'm only actually getting about a third of a drop so they can work really well for that and um, cardamom is also something you can use if you want an alternative to air or you need respiratory support so interestingly you know ginger we've talked about is good for um, environmental threats immune system respiratory support cardamom is really a lovely gentle respiratory support especially for babies and young children you can dilute it and it's very very soft and gentle but but effective for respiratory support so I would say they are the two, two things that I mostly use cardamom for. I will also um, weave them into diffuser blends. In my book, um, Advanced Oil Magic, it also talks about you can use it for digestive discomfort, uh, congestion, indigestion, respiratory support, which we've talked about, motion sickness, and other, other reasons like health reasons where you might be struggling to breathe and need respiratory support. And we've talked about cooking. So yes, and then other uses are um, colitis, constipation, head tension, inflammation, muscle um, and menstrual pain. We talked about um, nausea, pancreatitis, um, sore throat and stomach ulcers. And then there's a nice diffuser blend in here where you can combine um, cardamom, cinnamon, clove, and then a drop of each and then three drops of wild orange. So that would be really nice if you want. It's, still, it's not going to smell too wintry because you've got the three drops of wild orange. It's just going to add a bit of warmth um, to, to the blend. So um, just to finish on cardamom, I just wanted to mention what the what the emotional aspects of cardamom is. I'll just hold up the book that um, I'm reading from as well, just in case um, you haven't come across it before. So this is it here. It's called Essential Emotions. And you can get this from essentialoilsupplies.co.uk. So um, cardamom, the emotional aspects are, it talks about um, cardamom being like the oil of objectivity. So if you are, the cardamom and anger, they have a, um, like a, a relationship where if you've got anger issues or you're feeling inebriated by anger, cardamom is one that is really, really worth exploring. Um, if you feel like you get easily frustrated, then cardamom is something that we can work with on the emotional kind of spiritual realm. If you if you blame people, if you if you're somebody that blames others, or also if you're you're someone that finds it very hard to think clearly in the moment, you know, like you um your feelings kind of overwhelm your ability to have um I guess judgment in the moment. So the book um, Essential Emotions it talks about cardamom helping in oh there you go individuals to regain objectivity mental sobriety and self-control. It assists individuals who frequently feel frustrated or angry with other people. Cardamom is especially helpful for times when one's anger goes to their head, causing them to be hot-headed. In such situations, the individual becomes inebriated with anger, losing control and rational function. So at a time like that, you know, you can really lean in to considering working with your cardamom oil and um, helping you kind of feel more, more rational. Um, the book talks about uh, hot, hot cardamom helping to bring balance, mental clarity, and objectivity during moments of extreme anger and frustration. So it, how you would use this in those moments is you would take a drop into the palms of your hands and you'd rub your hands together. I normally avoid my fingertips and um, because then I'm not going to scrap, you know, perhaps rub my eye later and then kind of have essential oil in my eye. And then I cut my hands around my nose and my mouth. And I have several deep breaths. So you need at least five, five breaths, five to 10 deep breaths. And then whilst you've got it here, um, you rub it on your pulse points after you've finished inhaling, maybe on the back of the neck, on your heart, whatever feels good, really. And um, the other thing you can do, if you've been using these oils a while and you're open to internal use, 
cardamom is one that you can take internally and to work with it for objectivity and anger you could try um, to start with just having a little bit on your finger and just kind of rubbing it under your tongue and over time i'm um, in front of the mirror you could you could drop one drop under your tongue if you feel um you know open to that so terra oils are really leading the way in terms of quality and purity and that's why it's possible to do that with some of the oils not all of them um, but also there's other ways that you can benefit from them so yeah that's cardamom it finishes by saying cardamom demands that individuals stop blaming others it asks them to take personal ownership and responsibility for their feelings and as they do they will feel more at peace calm and in control of themselves so yeah when i when i when we have these buy one get one free events in doTERRA it always i always end up researching some of the oils that i'm going to be talking about and kind of reconnecting with them and i'm and again i'm in in awe of cardamom and i feel like I, w I want to and need to be using it more often because i really relate to some of those things um and you know in working with these oils we can um, we can over time start to cause um, changes in our our, chemi our brain chemistry, our body chemistry. Um, it can help us to rebalance systems, glands, um, our brain chemicals, you know, in a positive way. So depending on what's going on and why why we're using them, whether it's a physical um, symptom, a health issue, something emotional, or maybe we just want to bring the oils in because we fancy putting ginger into our baking and our chocolate creations and our smoothies and you know cardamom in our in our chai and our i don't know our cookies you know there's there's lots of different things to do some people come into the oils because they're interested in um getting some of the toxins out of their home by making some swaps with say things they're cleaning their homes with or things they're putting onto their skin so there's lots of different ways in and invariably we all come in um for one particular reason but over time we end up up leveling many areas of our lives um, because we we get attracted to kind of um, more and more ways that we can use the oils to support us as we see them um, improving you know the, the first reasons we came in so if you're watching this and um yeah you're interested to learn more then do reach out to me or whoever has been working with you if that's not me so far and i'd really love to help you and guide you around you know the next the next best step for you and yeah um cardamom and ginger they are buy one get one free until tomorrow night so as i said earlier the 250 drops of ginger customer wholesale price is uh, 40.75 and until tomorrow night the cardamom is 21.50 and that comes for free so i hope that's been useful everybody and it's been lovely to have you on and um, i look forward to being back here very soon bye Bye, Facebook.